Alright guys, we are back for episode number three of our Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Let's Play. Um, in the last episode, we uh, got this. Uh -huh. We got the Skyward Sword in the last episode, and we um, went to the bazaar and bought some potions. And, uh, met... Uh, the dude from Majora's Mask's original person. Alright, so. I'm here, my bird. But in this episode, we are obviously we are going to surface. Which I wonder if we'll get to face the imprisonment in this episode. That'd be good. It's crystal clear. <laughs> and when you're way down here, it's kind of weird. Cause now I'm in a whole new world with no one. Or so I think. But we're here. I'll get you feast for this Master, musical, we have arrived. <laughs> this is the fabled surface that is long parted of Skyless Legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Nice. This is sick. Much excitement resides in my body. Updates. I dig it. Please proceed with caution, Esther. Let me save my game, please. Huh? Oh, I guess I can't. Huh? I thought if you skyward strike the bird statues, they would work. Maybe not. even a challenge good lord oh boy Prison's a sick looking boss, but he's just in all practicality he's not <laughs> You're good, Link. It's all good, homie. Watch him like pop out of the ground. I need these because 
why I suck at fighting plants all of a sudden. <laughs> why is this not a spin attack? Yeah, so that sealed it more. Yeah, that that kept the shield, the seal. I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by Scarver Strike. Also, take an aura that correlates closely to your cell block. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura using a process known as dowsing. To explain this to you, please. As you wish. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of an aura or something you wish to search for using the tip of your sword. The nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. Nice. Okay, so I have to use. Alright. Hold up and select Zelda as your dowsing target. characters in this game. Well, I had no idea when I first watched this that this person was going to be here. This music's awesome too. Bring back like the light of the emissary. I want like I want that as like an image. Descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. <laughs> Tell me, what is your name? Musical. Ah, musical. Good, very good. Since you've already gained control over the secret power that fills your sword and pointed skyward, 
the skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> it is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I've sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predetested many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. <laughs> it's all as not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. With an evil power working in the shadows, it moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Mm -hmm. Yusuke, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts. That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue. As do you. She set out for foreign woods to discover the destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. Okay. The X upon your mark maps the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You'll be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as a waypoint from afar. Point at the X and place A to place a beacon. Okay. Good. Ah. Well, you cannot see it from where we are. A beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. If you no longer have use for a beacon, you can remove it from the map, pressing A. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Ah. Go now. You must head into far and woods and chase after the spirit maiden. The one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. You will find there it should prove useful to you on your journey. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Shing! Sparkle, sparkle. You're ready to leave through the door before you can head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. <sighs> I know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. But now, musical, go bravely. Where's the, uh, where's the, uh, treasure chest? That's what I want. Ah! Thank you. No. Oh, so we have two bottles now. <laughs> Sweet. Is there another chest on the other side? Usually it balances. Of course not. Where am I beacon? Oh, nice. Nice. Skull token back here? Oh. So who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. It's the second time I bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you all sorts of weird things going on lately. Are you big for taking care of those guys? So let me tell you something fascinating. See this bird? <laughs> hey! Ice cream. Hey, bud. I'm Goku the Gorn. I'm researching the ancient history of these woods here. 
According to ancient texts, there's some place above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. What statue stuff is that? Not so strapped like up the sky. Or down. There's an eye over the goddess place. If you're on one, be sure to examine it and keep tabs on the number of landmarks. It would be quite useful. Ooh. Both of these statues are special. Today the ability to activate all those statues. Mm. Well, thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but one, believe me. Oh, will these statues be all over the first place? A real head scratcher. Oh! Ah, oh, sounds like a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. Alright, buddy, you better brace yourself, because I'm about to blow your mind. So on a sky island, they get to fly on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than the birds down here. <laughs> Up there, everyone reserves the goddess, reveres the goddess, and the residents of the islands in the sky live in perfect society. Totally free of conflict and happiness. I like this voice for him. Not only that, but from what I can tell, this civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it doesn't even stop there, bud. Sile of the Goddess even has stuff to marvel at. This is crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures it's filled with wonders. We do not have here. But it's made of gold, an endless spring of mystical water feeds the river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. There are pumpkins up there. Magic wildflowers. I guess that's stamina fruit. The weather, oh, the weather. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty heat in the garden paradise. Mm -hmm. That is the hell of the goddess. Wrong! It's beyond amazing! Mm -hmm. Do you know more about it, don't you? Nah. Ooh. Oh, that's so. I was hoping to tell you more, but I guess I can wait. Yeah, I'm good, homie. Yo, <laughs> bird. Oh! Whoa! just happened. Did you use some kind of magic? Oh. That you reacted the moment you got near it. How crazy is that? Examine. Save! Alright, so I can go back up to Skyloft if I want from here. Save! Mm. Oh. Oh. What's that? Oh. It's reacted to you. What'd you do? Come on, do not make a big guy beg. I've got to know. Sorry. Huh. Gimme. Thank you. I get a better shield. What's up here? I like to explore. Ah. Fast travel. Solid. I dig it. Master, now that you have assessed the stem statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back to where you live. Please call me any time you would like to use an amiibo. I'll send a board to save amiibo uses from the options. Sure. I don't have an amiibo, but sure. I've never really ever used amiibos. I use the cards for Animal Crossing, though, but... So that is where... Alright, so are we in Faram Woods? We are in Faram Woods. Master, you have entered Faram Woods. Sick. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It's logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. Nice. It is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. Nice. You continue to use your galloping ability to search for her. Okay. I'm gonna go save it this stuff. It's probably be the last episode I recorded today. I am tired. 
Those are those, uh, Kikui things or whatever. I remember those. with caution. things in this forest. Alright, let's get safe. God help me. I guess the I guess the Kikwis are like the original Koroks, I guess? Are they like descendants? the key queen. Ha! I figured you could do that. Where'd you go, little dude? Tester, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. 
The separation in the cases, she was assailed by monsters, but somehow avoided capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. Kikui. I have marked the position of the Kikui known as Maki. Please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that the Kikui most likely produces a false positive thousand reaction. Previous direct contact with Zelda. I theorize there's an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. Step forward, you can do dowsing to search for Zelda. Okay. Which way am I going? Am I going this way? I'm not going this way, though. Yeah. We'll do that. So. Helpful. I think I'm going up. I'm going up yonder. So I figured. Go find homeboy. Oh, what? Oh, nice, fighting you up here. What's wrong with him, Skillet? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can murder it, Pancake. Yup. Yeah. Bye. Today's episode may go a little longer. I want to find the Elder, and then we'll wrap up. Or no, maybe not. I kind of want to, like, the last one was like 31 minutes. I really want to stick to as close to 30 as possible. So actually, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here, since we're right next to a save statue. And we will continue on in the next episode. It's exciting stuff. Oh! Lots of good things happened in today's episode. Sweet! Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If there's anything that you guys have, like, suggestions on or anything like that, um, I haven't been making edits, like, at all. I can tell you that. It's just less work for me, and I can just enjoy playing and posting my reactions for you guys, because this is my genuine first reaction to playing this game. So if there's anything that you guys would like to see or anything like that, please leave me a comment down below, and I will catch you guys on Friday with episode number... Quattro. Thank you guys for watching. Mr. B is out.